Hey everyone, okay, so today's foundation tip, and I'm go, I've got a few of these up my sleeve on foundation tips, so I'll keep rolling them out, so hopefully you will learn something new. Today's one is so cool, and it's probably one that you haven't heard of, or at least don't do. And this foundation tip can definitely, definitely make your foundation stay on longer, a lot longer throughout the day. For those of you with dry skin, you may not need to powder at all after you've applied your foundation. And it can also fill in for those of you with large pores and fine lines and wrinkles. It can go, particularly pores, it can go a large way in concealing those. So let's make a start. Follow this in succession. All you'll need is your moisturizer or primer and anything else you put on your skin. You'll need a powder and you'll need a foundation. I'm gonna just walk you through it now. The first thing we're gonna do is moisturize the skin. So we always start with primer or moisturizer. Rub this into the skin. I like to use my hands. I use my hands on everyone. I don't care if they don't like it. It's what they're gonna get. And I just rub it in. After I've moisturized the skin, I still, regardless, will put on something that gives a glow to the skin. So this is Wonder Glow, which is Charlotte Tilbury's. Um, Laura Mercier do like a shimmering primer. They're all very, very similar. And they do the same thing, which is they add a luminescence to the skin, giving it a more beautiful finish. So just rub that into the face. And I go right underneath the eye with this. When that's complete, what you're gonna do next is take a powder. What you want, excuse me when I get a brush, what you want is a loose powder, not a pressed one. I'm gonna be using the NARS um, Translucent Crystal Powder because it's very nice. You powder your face. I know you think it's mental, but you powder your face first, take the brush and powder over all of this moisturizer and primer. Powder the skin first. Powdering it, even with a translucent powder, will add a small amount of coverage. If you use a powder that has a little bit of color to it, the skin tone, you will get more coverage on your face for areas that are problematic. So if you have a lot of redness, then use a powder that has a really good amount of color to it, you know, that skin color toned. Now you're gonna apply your foundation. Don't worry, I know that we're told we don't apply liquids or creams over powders. This will work fine. All of that moisturizer, primer, or whatever is now locked into the skin with the powder. I'm gonna take a foundation and apply it with my fingers. Charlotte Tilbury in shade seven, which is the light wonder. And what will happen is, A, you'll need less foundation. You will absolutely not use anywhere near the same amount of foundation. You will find that if you're not very dark under the eyes, you certainly won't need to use concealer, but it will fill in and cover and stay on the skin. Your foundation is going to stay all day long now. It's not going to move or slide around. So let's just apply this. And you can see it's going on smoothly. I'm using a liquid. You can use a cream, a wax, or a mineral foundation, whatever you want. Okay, now for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna do that one side of the face. But what I want you to think about, <clears throat> if you have dry skin, this may be all you need to do. You may not need to use any more powder at all, which is almost probably the case. If you have oily skin, then it would be a good idea for you to add a fraction of powder just down the T-zone. So you can take the same powder, but really just use a small amount here and on the T-zone area, eyelids, just to set. But you probably, most of us, like I wouldn't need to use another powder and it will stay. This will also create the foundation to set very, very quickly. And I've got another video coming about foundations that you may not have realized, but it will cause the foundation to set quickly, which means that blusher, powder blusher, can go directly onto this almost immediately. So this is Love Glow. So I'm just gonna take this on my brush and we'll apply it just there. It doesn't drag. The foundation isn't catching it, it's not pulling it. It's such a great tip. It just makes life a lot easier for those of you whose foundations are failing 
are falling off halfway through the day. You want it to last longer. You've got dry skin. If you've got dry skin, exfoliate, 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 and moisturize first before you put the powder on. Then apply your foundation with your fingers, a brush, a beauty blender, however you want, and look at your face and see if it needs a touch more powder if you're very oily here. That is it. This will make your foundation last all day long. Hope you found it interesting. Let me know what you think of it. That's what you should be doing, because it makes me happy. And let me know what your comments are on this and how it works out for you. Thanks so much. Don't forget, you can do concealer as well if you need to, then add a touch of powder, whatever. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.